the world after a tough but comprehensive Challenge Cup victory on Sunday. We're back to the important business of the league against Toulouse on Sunday. Yeah, it's going to be a, um, a massive game for us. We've uh, Obviously, we're not happy with how we performed at Bradford. We, we know we can be better and um, we need to play a lot better than we did last week against Toulouse because they're going to be coming here and it's, it's a massive game for us. We were, we were highly delighted that we, we managed to get the result at Bradford. We, we made a lot of changes. It was eight in total. And, Gave some opportunity for some guys who haven't played this year to, to have a run out and it's a knockout competition, it's just about winning and we managed to get the, the victory so we're delighted with, with that. Um, uh, pretty keen to get out there again to, for against the they're a good team, they're in that top half of the table so hopefully we can get the win against them. And now it's back to back to the championship and a, and a really, really tough game this, this week against really good attacking team, they've got plenty of skill about them, they've got plenty of pace, rack up some points, and they're averaging something like 31, 32 points a game, so it's certainly going to be a, a test for our defence, which we're looking forward to. Yeah, good test for us, they've started well to lose, um, they're going to be a big, strong, aggressive outfit, they always are from France, so we need to get back on there, get a win, and uh, show some distance between us and third. How important is it to try and get the victory on Sunday just to give us that four point cushion over them in third place? I think it is important, yeah. I think we we know that it's a big game because of the points and because we know that you know, they're a good team. Not, well, I believe they're going to be there or thereabouts come at the end of the year and it's, it's an opportunity for us just to put two points or four points between us. So, we know how big it is, we're not taking anything for granted, we, we know that we're going to have to be at our best. Uh, hopefully we have some weather like this and we have a nice dry pitch because both teams like to play attacking football and may well come down to who we'll we'll defends best on the day. How important is it to get this win on Sunday to open up that four point cushion over there in third place? Yeah, uh, it's massive. Um, you know, London did it last year where they separated from the pack and then, um, yeah, hopefully we can do that as well. If we get these two points to secure that spot. So, yeah. It's massive, um, it's just a bit of uh, mental over them as well, so if we can put a bit of daylight between us and them, it's a bit, it's a win for us and then also every, every game every game counts, we want to win all his home games, that's a, that's a thing for us. I know we've lost Rochdale but that was just a freak, freak game with weather, um, so we need to get back to winning ways at home, yeah. The boys have been um, full of energy, really pleased with the result. Um, and, and they're looking forward to this week, as you can see the blokes behind me, they're, they're out early, they're, they're kicking, they've been in an hour already, so the blokes are practicing some of their individual skills at the minute, um, and there's a, you know, there's a good feel about the place, it's certainly got a big game atmosphere to the place at the minute, and we know that you know, we've got to be at our best to beat them. We don't want to be looking over the shoulder every, every game thinking, oh, we need to, these are going to be chasing us back, we want to be hopefully pushing and, and getting quite comfortable up the league and, and we can concentrate on, on finishing in that in that top two spot that we've aimed for all year but um, it's going to be difficult, we know that and we're going to have to play as, as best football to, uh, to get a result on Sunday. And how's training gone this week after victory on Sunday? It's gone well, yeah, we uh, reviewed the game on Tuesday, um, put some things right where we felt we were a bit wrong, gone over the game plan and uh, we're all confident, yeah, confident to get a win. And finally, the defence for Rovers this season has probably been the biggest highlight for for the team. How do you feel that the defence is doing? Uh, well, we, last year we were probably the best defensive team in the comp, and then uh, this year, that's the same again. We pride ourselves on the defence and not conceded many points per game, and it wins us many games, so yeah, it's very important. We've prepared well, we've uh, done our review early, and uh, we know it's going to be a big game, so we had to get to it early. And finally, um, the defensive aspects of the Rovers team must be really pleasing this season. How happy are you with that defence at the minute? Yeah, I'm pleased because uh, that was one of my goals personally, to be um, a better defender compared to what I was last year. And um, to have the whole team uh, to be the best defensive team in the championship is pretty good. It's uh, something that we need to continue throughout the whole year. And how important is the defence, the defensive aspects of the game? I've been really pleased with the way the defence worked on Sunday. Yeah, disappointed with the, the last try. I think you know the reverse kick. Where, you know, Duckworth should have handled that better, and Hardman should have done it being a little bit better in that area. And, uh, missed tackles for that. The try by the young back rower 
it's not like us, um, but defensively we've been good all year and still averaging 14 points conceded a game which is, is the best in the comp and that'll get tested this week. I know it will, they've got a really good half back in, in Robin who's quick and a smart six in, in Ford who is grabbing all the headlines and a, and a, and a full back that's absolutely rapid so we, we've got to be at our very best defensively.